Does your X-Tool F1 laser have fingerprints and dust all over the acrylic? A dirty lens? Or maybe you have a cat named Checo and his fur is in the exhaust? Well, you have come to the right place. With Velf Creations patent pending multi-part cleaning, you will have your F1 looking shiny and new in no time. Let's get started. First things first, we will disconnect our exhaust hose and unplug the F1 from the power supply. We will start with the exhaust fan. Ours looks pretty good, but we will show you how to remove it and clean the inside. There are four Phillips screws on the back of the F1 that need to be removed to take the exhaust fan off. We recommend doing this step at least once a month. Cleaning out the exhaust fan can help reduce a lot of the smell, especially from wood. We will be removing the fan, but it is not completely necessary as long as you're careful when you are wiping it down. There is a small tab on the cable that you need to pinch to remove it. We always have a few of these air duster cans to keep things nice and dust free. There are some components at the back of the F1 that we can dust. We can also dust off the fan and the exhaust bracket before we wipe it down. A great tip is to have a small spray bottle filled with rubbing alcohol near your work area. It helps keep the F1 clean and also is great for wiping down finished projects. When placing the fan back, be sure that you route the cable through this little cutout so that you don't accidentally pinch the cable. You will also want to put the fan facing the same direction as when you started. In our case, the label should be facing out. Simply snap the cable back in place. Next, we like to use the screws to align the fan and the exhaust bracket by pushing them through before placing the fan back in then tighten the screws. Onto the acrylic. We'll start by raising it up so we can wipe down the inside of the top. Again, we like to use rubbing alcohol and a lint-free cloth. We also like to give a quick dust of the inside and then start wiping down first with paper towels to remove the bulk of the residue and finish with a lint-free cloth. To do the inside bottom part of the acrylic, we will remove the base plate to allow us to reach in and wipe it down. Having a dirty lens can really impede with the laser, so you want to make sure that it is always clean. We like to use just a small lint-free wipe for this. Finally, no one likes to see fingerprints all over your F1, so give it a quick wipe down on all sides of the acrylic and on the top handle. That is the last step of the cleaning. Your F1 is back to looking like a brand new machine. Please leave a like and comment below if you found this video useful or if you have any suggestions. Also subscribe if you want to see more F1 content like this. Thanks for watching and stay creative.